Okay, last night Julie uh, put the floor in and I think she did a really good job. Now what she'll do is go around the outside edge of that with this brown caulk. We don't glue the linoleum down, we don't nail it down or anything. We leave it set for a few days, let it settle into place, and then she'll use that caulk around the outside edge. Other than that, the floor is finished. Now. Just to get this started off here, uh, this video is not sponsored by anybody. Uh, the stuff that I'm going to show you right now, I purchased from Amazon myself, and uh, we're getting ready to put it into the camper. We needed some stuff for inside the camper, and uh, we got everything in that I think we need to finish this uh, project up. We're gonna go over everything. Okay, the first thing that we wanted was some USB ports put in the back so we can charge our phones without stringing the cord all the way to the front. So we got two of these guys. Uh, and like I said, we're gonna go through each and everything here and show you what they are. This is just a small USB port. We wire this in and uh, you have two chargers. Uh, there's two different size ones right there you can see. You got the, there's, um, I think one is for like an apple or whatever. There's two of them. So anyhow, we're going to be getting these put in. And then uh, we picked up a new faucet. We had to pick up a new faucet for the camper. Okay, this is the faucet that we got. Uh, this is, I think is going to be a lot better one because we'll be able to turn it on and turn it off without holding the handle down uh, and trying to rinse off a pot or something with two hands that are too heavy. So, and this is what they call just a cold water faucet. So that's something we got to get put in. I think my last one, it was a good faucet. Uh, it's sitting right over there. I actually fixed it this morning, uh, but I put it away. When I put it away for the winter, I don't think I actually got all the water out of the inside of the faucet. So that's something you want to make sure that you do when you're, you know, getting your camper ready for the winter months. And then we picked up some lights. We needed some new light underneath the cabinets where we built a new shelf. And these guys here are pretty awesome because these have dimmer switches on them. Uh, there's a little dimmer switch on and off and dimmer switch. So if we want them low, we can turn them low. We want them high, we can turn them high. So, like I said, we're going to be putting all this in. We'll be doing it all on video, and I will bring you guys along. So, we're going to get started. We got one more thing, a big ticket item I haven't showed you yet. Well, I was trying to open the box, and Sophie decided she wants to use it to take a nap. I told you she's always got to be a center of attention. You want to take a nap, don't you? Huh. So, what we have here in the box, uh, <laughs> Sophie, you're going to have to move so we I can know. get this done. Now. See if you can shoot her off there so we can get this done. <laughs> well, you got on your tail. All right, you're going to have to... Hey, don't bite me. Hey, hey, Sophie, hey. easy. Hey. Yeah, I started opening it, and then she got up there and thinks it's... So what we have here is a 110 uh, 12-volt uh, cooler. Uh, we needed something in the camper. Like, we go through a lot of ice, and yeah. I think buying this thing is actually going to save us money. Uh, from having to use ice all the time. And uh, this is the same cooler that my buddy Daryl has in his uh, homemade camper build. And I'll be leaving a link for that build for you if you want to check out his camper build. But he said it's good. I take his word for it. So we're going to get, oh, like I said, all well, this stuff he's set He's had up. his for quite a few years, yeah. I guess. Now, one thing about this, when we got it, when we got it, when, when they shipped it to us, it was laying on its side. And the box was completely upside yeah, down. Yeah, the box was completely upside down. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let this set for 24 hours before we go doing anything with it. We're not going to plug it in or anything. We're going to let all them juices inside here, which there's some kind of Freon or whatever inside here. We're going to let it all settle down to the bottom, and then we'll turn it on. But this is probably going to be one of our last things to do. But it's going to be nice to have something we don't have to buy ice for. Yeah, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And there's no stores or anything. Right. So hopefully okay. that will work out better. So we're going to get started. Okay, we're going to get ready to hook our lights up. So what we want to do is take the covers off of here. Don't, don't try to pry the cover off. What you want to do is take your thumbs and just push it. And it'll come right off like that. 
So we want to take both these off because we need to put the screws in these holes. Pretty simple. Okay, so now that you have your lenses off, we have all of our holes pre-drilled. Now you don't have to pre-drill them, that's up to you. And all we have to do is hook our two wires. We have a red one and a white one. I'm going to take the red one to the red one, and the white one is going to be to my black one. So we'll do the red and the red together. We're just going to put our little wire nut on here. Pretty simple. Then I'm going to take my white one, and we'll connect it to the black one. Now we have all of our wires there. What we want to do is we want to get them in these two little chambers here. We're just going to kind of wrap them around in here. And we got to get those wire nuts in that big opening there. I'm going to have Julie come over and give me a hand holding this thing. And then we're going to go ahead and get the screws. Kind of hard up underneath this counter to do just about anything. But hopefully wherever you're putting them, they're already pre-drilled. Got them in? I think so. I don't know where the hole is. I can't see that. Right there is one. Oh, got it. I think we got it. They're not really that hard. This is the first time this camper ever had lights in here, so I had to pre-drill them. But if you're replacing an existing light, this is actually going to work good for you. Hopefully what you're putting in isn't under a cabinet. If it was up on the ceiling, it'd be a whole lot easier to do. We would have already had these put in, but we had to order them. And we were waiting on them to come in. It didn't take long, but we just didn't order them fast enough. Trying to figure out what we wanted and when we wanted it. Okay, all of them are on there. So all we have left to do is to pull off our little paper covers here. These are protective. We want to take them off. Then you're just going to push it right up inside that slot and push it in that way and that one's going to come in this way. Pretty simple. We have one light installed. Only took a few minutes and like I said, don't forget we're wiring this up and everything. If we are just changing out lights, these things would go in like a piece of cake. So that's one light done. We have one more to put in then we'll Show you them work. So now we're going to get number two put in here. And like I said, I'm just going to wire up the red one to the red one. And the white one will be our ground or neutral. However you want to say it. They're really not that hard to hook up. You're just putting up a couple wire nuts. And you're just putting a few screws in. That's it. All we got to do is tidy it up in there. And throw our screws in. Take our little membrane off here, protective membrane. We'll get these guys put on here. Nice. Now all we gotta do is get the power to them. We're gonna get ready to put our little charger in here. Now mine wire right inside the cabinet. So we're gonna go ahead and slide our wires in. And we're going to do our screws here. We only got two little screws to put on this. Yeah, this is like a weird spot. <laughs> okay, now once you have your two screws on there, and if your wiring's just in the back, you can go ahead and snap your cover on. And now it's a nice clean surface. You see no screws. And then you can put your little protective cap on there. And it's sealed up, ready to work. All we gotta do now is get the inside wired up and get it turned on. Okay, we have that light all finished up and that light all finished up. And we have the power on it. It's on a uh, fuse. So we put, put the fuse in there. We're gonna go ahead and try the lights. And all we have to do is push up on our round button. Ooh, there's that one. 
push up on this one okay now if you notice one looks a little bit brighter that's because they have a dimmer switch so we can actually turn these lights down to a nice little little glow there like, like a, a night light type thing and then we can also turn them up and we can change the mood like there's different modes i guess would you say that there uh, let's put it to you this it, you there's know. three different bright there's three different brightnesses on this so you can push it and you can see it get dimmer and then dimmer well, that's really dimmer or you can have it that there's three different settings and then you can make it as bright as you want which is pretty awesome so this one has the same thing you can see it dim dimmer and then bright again and then real bright Ooh, those are bright <laughs> so what a difference in here it made with those couple extra lights now we have some old lights here that are already in our little conversion camper and I, they don't dim they just no they well, don't dim they have just settings on them yeah one yes. or two so what we're going to do is i think we're going to replace all the lights with the rv light here i think this will be really good for us it'll be definitely what we need in here more light especially when you get old we can't see as well <laughs> right so check these lights out i think you guys will really like them all you have to do is pop your little lid off and plug your usb port in there and as you can see that phone started charging right away mm -hmm. so we know that it is working uh, and this is going to be nice because we have a small basket right here and she can run that charger right into that basket and yeah like put my yeah. phone like this while it's charging up just set it right there so what's really cool about these little chargers are they're nice and flush against the wall mm -hmm. and i do like the little cap on them to keep bugs and stuff from getting yeah. in there or whatever but it's nice to have that little protective cap on there and uh it's a sleek looking little thing it's not the uh, it's not big and ugly so i like it all right this is our rv faucet we're going to be putting in the conversion camper um now this uh faucet is what they call just a cold water faucet we don't have hot water in here we just have cold water and this is all that we need now if you have hot water and cold water you're not going to be able to use this you're going to want one that'll have two pieces on the bottom here two inlets one for hot and one cold but being that we only have cold which a lot of people don't know it but they do make a cold water faucet and that's what this is so um they give you all the hardware that you need to mount this thing up it's actually pretty simple the only problem is the last faucet hand me that other faucet right there joel this is our last faucet that we had in and if you noticed it's pretty small and during the winter we got a really cold winter and i don't think i got all the water out of this faucet and i think it kind of screwed it up so that was my fault so when you guys do your faucets make sure you drain them real good before winter unless you got heat in there and i highly doubt a lot of people have campers with heat unless you're living in it so make sure you drain them real well so we had to pick up another one and i picked this up off of amazon and i think this is uh, exactly what we need so we're going to go ahead and get ready to put it in and uh see how it works all right so we have everything to put this in they give it to you right in your little kit we're going to go ahead and install this in the camper okay i'm going to get ready to mount my little faucet and if you notice the way i'm putting my faucet then it goes right through the countertop now they give you a rubber washer to put up up underneath of it uh, this little rubber washer then you have this brass wa uh, bolt that you'll put up underneath there well this is your decorative plate i'm going to show you how i'm going to do mine i'm going to put this through here like that i have some 100 percent uh clear silicone and we're going to put a bead of this silicone so i'm going to take this off and do it we're going to put a bead of silicone right around this because we don't want this to leak uh we're putting it in a countertop now if we was putting it in say uh a plastic sink or stainless steel sink that'd be a little bit different setup than what we're doing right here so we're going to put just a little bit of this and drag it over that edge 
just a little bit like that wipe our fingers off and then we're going to slide this guy right up on top of here like so then I'm going to slide it right down on my hole now a little bit of that is going to squeeze out there but we're going to wipe that off here in a few minutes what we have to do now is go underneath and we're going to slide our washer on we're going to slide it up on and we're going to slide this uh, nut up on there and get it tightened down put your rubber washer up on there take your brass bolt and stick it up on there we'll put them on both at the same time because they just want to fall off Have somebody hold it on the top while you tighten it down. Once you got it tightened down there, all you have to do is hook your supply line up from your cold water. Don't over tighten this bolt. It's got a rubber washer in it. You don't want to over tighten that bolt. Now you're ready to turn your water on and try your faucet. All right, once you got your sink all hooked up, as you can see, mine's just run into a couple jugs. I have fresh water here and wastewater here, and you just hook into the bottom of the sink. So I can just dump this out whenever I want. And then I have a valve down there, right there. You can see that valve right there. There's a valve and that valve is there so I can turn the pressure down. Cause this thing will run about three gallons per minute. And I only got a six gallon jug. So that'll run out about two minutes. I could run all that water into that jug right there. So we don't want to do that, but I checked it for leaks. Make sure you check real good for leaks rub your fingers over everything and make sure everything's good this is already ready to go so when we turn the spigot on we should have water so if you're wanting to adjust a cold water faucet little setup like we got here in our box trailer conversion camper this thing works out great for us we're washing hands and maybe dishes or little things uh it works out fine for us no hot water or no hot just cold uh, this is a 12 volt 110 cooler we're going to go ahead and get it unboxed i got this from amazon now this was recommended to me by a friend of mine daryl stokes he has the woodhaven channel and we'll leave a link for his channel uh he's he had this in his uh homemade camper first and then he built an off-grid cabin which you guys got to see he's got a lot of parts to it you can check it out some good entertainment there so we're going to go ahead and open this uh cooler up Okay, when you open up your box and get everything laid out, you're going to find out you got an owner's manual, which is pretty good to go over that owner's manual before you get started. And then you have this little piece of paper here, and this is telling you the efficiency of this little uh, refrigerator freezer, uh, about $17 a year, which is actually pretty good. It uses a low wattage, and that's so you can use it with that 12 volt. Um, pretty cool uh, you're gonna find one a plug-in and this is gonna be for your uh, 110 no yeah this is your 110 because it plugs right into the wall you'll be able to plug this right into the wall you plug this into your cooler and then you're running on your 110 power or you can plug in this thing here and this is uh, for your 12 volt and uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be leaving ours plugged in to 12 volt all the time uh, we won't be changing it over because we have a big enough battery in there. We'll hold this for the amount of time we're pretty much on our vacation. And when we stop, when we stop, we'll be plugging the camper in and then the automatic charger will come on for the 12 volt battery that's running it. It'll be fine for us. That's the way we're going to use it. Now, we're going to get over the freezer. It's, it's not huge inside. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the measurements of the inside of this box just so you know just how big this box is and it is about it's about 14 inches wide back and forth this way and then 
It's about nine and three quarters inches this way, back and forth from front to back. And then we're gonna go depth of it is gonna be about another 11 inches deep. So whatever you think you might be able to get in there, um, what we'll do is we'll put a few drinks in there and we'll be uh, taking one out. And when you take one out, we'll just replace it with another one. Uh, and that way we'll be able to put some food in here plus some drinks. And we're kind of used to using a great big giant cooler and you just throw two, you know, big case of pop in there, a case of water, and then you got to buy the ice. Well, ice is another thing. I'm tired of buying ice. We're always buying ice and uh, it's getting more expensive. And then as hot as it's been, we sometimes we can't even find it. So your controls are right here. The, all the controls you need to operate this thing is right here. And what's cool is it does have a USB port in here, which you can charge your phone up there. But it has an on and off button right here. This is your display. What you do for power on, you're going to hold this down for three seconds. And then uh, you're going to see your power come on. And then you're going to do the same thing to shut it off. Now, this is going to be your set, uh, your temperature. You're going to set your temperature and you'll be able to lock and unlock it here. So we're going to go over just a little bit more of this once we get to plugging it in. So another nice thing about this cooler is it has a little chart on here and it tells you all the temperatures that you'll need to set for what you're going to put in here. Let's say you're going to put meat and you want to keep it frozen. It's going to be minus 18. Frozen foods, minus 18. Seafoods, minus 3. Uh, vegetables, uh, 3 to 10 Celsius, uh, cooked foods, uh, 4 degrees, water, uh, 4 degrees Celsius, canned drinks, that type of stuff, which is pretty cool because the chart is right here, so you can use that to set your cooler for what you're going to put in it. Okay, uh, I just plugged it into the power, and I noticed these lights are blinking. So it says to plug or uh, to push this uh, on and off button, Hold it down for three to five seconds. So, okay, I guess that's it. It's kicked in, it's running. Listen to how quiet. That's not bad. So, it has a display right here telling you what the temperature is in that thing right now. It's running on 12.6 volts, it has right there. And it's 78 degrees inside there. So we're going to adjust it down. Let's see what it'll do. 31. We're going to take it to 41 degrees. Because I think that is about where we're going to leave it. Yeah, because we're not probably not going to put any freezer food in there. Just so, yeah, we have it at 41 degrees right now. And... I would suppose that's all you're going to do. Okay, so what we've done is we set our temperature on 41 degrees. And I have a small thermometer here. It's setting on 75 right now. It's setting on 75 up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard. There you go. It's about 75 degrees on this thermometer. We're going to set it down in there and see how close it gets to 41. Okay, this thing has been plugged in for only one half hour, and it says 41 degrees. So, let's check the thermometer on the inside. That We all seen it was 75. Let's take a peek. Oh my, it's really cold. Let's see, can you see that? Let's see. It's like more like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's it's more like 30 degrees in there. So we might want to turn it up just a little bit. So uh, don't forget now, it says 41, but that the moment they're saying 30. Uh, we don't want to get it too cold because then our drinks will freeze. So what we'll do is we'll make the adjustment over here. Let's go to 45 degrees. Pretty simple. Then we'll lock it at that. Hold this in. We got it on eco now that's how you set the eco and this little uh 
little window right here uh, that gives you all your information is awesome. I love it. So we're going to let it warm up a little bit and see if we can get it back up to about 41 degrees. And we have it set on 45. Okay, this video is getting just a little bit long too. Uh, I promise you in the next one I will uh, do the reveal of the inside. And uh, we're going to be leaving some links in the description down below. Uh, if there's something there that you like or would like to have, uh, check out the links. Uh, I do appreciate you guys using my Amazon uh, links. It helps out a whole lot. So uh, I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.